Hello everyone and welcome back to AK Academy and welcome back to a new episode in developing desktop applications with Blazor and Gitron.net. Today in this session we will see how we can create windows and manage the properties of the window and take a look at all the events that we have available for us. Okay, so before we get started don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button to support us to continue with more and more videos and courses. Okay, so let's move on to the, our topic. To get started with this, first I will create a new page. Okay, let's call it about dot razor, like that. Okay, so here let's define the router of that page. Slash about, great, and let's just type something here. Welcome to Blazor with Elkitron. Dot net like that and I will type a little paragraph here Lorraine 40 okay so here we go we have this magnificent page huge to describe everything for our application right now let's see how we can open that page or this component in a separated window I will go back to the index to tracer and I will create a button here a class btn success and I'll call this button open about window okay let's type some code here some C sharp code I will create an asynchronous method task open about window just like that okay that's good now to create Basically, to create a window, first I will have this variable here called window equals await elkitron dot window manager dot browser windows or here you have this method called create window async. Let's call this method and let's see what it takes. Here we have two overloads for this method. The first one takes a browser window options object that in this case we can have all the options. We will take a look for them. And the second parameter called load URL. What is the URL of the page you want to open it on this? So first let's prepare the URL like that. URL equals it is HTTP localhost and here we need the port but the port is not always fixed so we can bring it for each application by using bridge settings dot web port so in this case we have the web port for the application slash about okay here we go this is the full url of the about page so i can paste it here okay so this is the first overload of the create window async. It directly takes the URL and the second one takes an options. But before we proceed with the second one, let's see what we have at the moment. And here, what I'm gonna do is call the method at on a click equals, okay, sorry for that. Okay, I'll call open about window. Ah, oh, come on, I don't know how to write right now. Okay, that's good. Right now, let's move back to that uh, terminal here. Let's type clean, ah, clear. Okay, that's good. Now we'll call dot build. Okay, and now let's call alcatronize start. Okay, here we go. This is our application and we have this button called open about window. Let's try to click on it. And as you can see here, I have two windows or let's say native windows for the operating system. And right now I have multiple components within this. I highly recommend when you open another window in the Citron app, not to use the same layout. Like try to use for those windows a specific layout that doesn't have this uh, specific menu 
or the general menu of the application. So you can have a different layout that don't have this one. Okay, that's great. Here we have seen how we can uh, create the window. We will see in a later lesson how we can communicate between the processes because I have described in the first lesson when I talked about uh, how Oracle Kitron works in general. Uh, each, we have a main process and those are render process associated with a version of the Chromium browser. So how we can communicate between the processes. This is going to be a different lesson. But for now, let's move back to the code and see the options available for us while handling the page or the window. Here we have. Okay, let's create var options equals new window browser window options and here you have a huge set of options for everything you need like always on top if you want this uh, window to be always on top of all the windows existing like something like a dialog when it appears in front of everything you have auto hidden menu bar and the default height, default width, length, the max height. Somehow the same properties you have when you create a WPF application. You have the icon, the title, and yeah, many other properties. But let's see for now how we can set full screen. Okay, equals true. For example, and we will see always top, always on top. Yeah. True. Okay. This is for here, and you can also set the default width, max width, min width, all the properties you have here available for you. You can discover all of them. But okay, let's try to add this for here options. Okay. That's great. Let's move back to the terminal and call it Kitronize start again. Okay, click on open about window and here we go as you can see we have the window in front of everything and it's also in the full screen mode so this is the window and if I go back here as you can see let's try to open a specific app for example the mail it's always on top on top of every other application so that's great. Right now, let's close the app. We have exit. Okay. Right now, let's move back to Visual Studio Code. Okay, this is how you can set all of this. Those are the properties you have. And what about the default window? If I, after I create the window, where it goes, actually, you can have access to all the windows you want by using the same Elkitron, like let's say main window equals Elkitron dot window manager dot browser windows. So here in this case, you have access to all. Uh, it's an unmirable of type browser windows. So you can read the first window with the first one, the main window, sorry, the first one. So let's see what this object has. You have a huge amount of methods and properties to set. You can set the position of the page, set progress bar, set size. And here, a lot of events on close, on blur, on focus, on leave screen, on maximize, on minimize. You can almost handle everything related to the native window you have on each operating system. With all these methods, you can get, set, focus, I don't know. Close the window, whatever you want, destroy. Yeah, you have a bunch amount of, or you can maybe change the URL it has via the load URL. <clears throat> this is everything related to the windows. You can, for now, the most important thing is how you can create a new one, how you can construct the URL, and all of those properties are just uh, clear because 
you will use them like maybe on the go you'll discover them one by one when you need each property but like almost all the properties you need to develop your windows are just existing here you can get the window like this and you can create a new window like this this is the options and this is the general url this is the end of this session thank you so much for watching and don't forget again to hit the like and the subscribe button and see you in the next video.